Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in a conversation right now with Google support. I had a video. The video, let me see if I can get up to the title of the video. The video is called The Truth is Out There. Will you be able to find it? And this was done way back 2017. Well, they've left a warning showing up on the account. And so I'm just dealing with one of the more, I mean, the people who, whoo wee that's what they struck the video for. Because I kept referring to some of the characters as hoes. Now, y'all know me. I use the word hoe all the time. The word hoe is not a bad word. It's not a curse word. It's just the word. Ho, it comes from the word whore. But I don't call people whores because to call somebody a whore would be to call them out of their name. I would never do that. What I do is I will use, what do we call it, ebonics. Okay. It says, kindly wait for the policy training link to be able to available on your YouTube studios so your warning can be removed. Hold on, everyone. Wake up. Wake up. I don't need warnings or training for Ebonics. Comma, it appears that you are being culturally unethical as an organization, period. How dare you sit up here and change the meaning of a word, period. There is no training for individuals who speak Ebonics on any level. Period. Stop listening. Okay, I'm finished with them. There is nothing else we can talk about. They. I, it took me a year. I couldn't figure out. I, I really couldn't figure out what the issue was. Lord have mercy. And then I went back, because y'all know we've been... A uh, false flag event held as misinformation on YouTube. Okay, so they, some people have seen that on some of the videos, the comments open. So they've been leaving comments. There are going to be no replies, ladies and gentlemen, because there's too many of y'all. Hold on. Too many of y'all leaving comments. Okay, I, I ain't got time. Okay, I haven't answered nobody, so I'm going to do it all right here. Uh, by the way, some of you, your comments appreciated. However, hold on now. I don't have time. I really don't have time. It's Monday through Friday. I am not what a day to myself. I don't have time to myself. I don't have time to be responding to emails. These, you see, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I need you all to please understand. I'm only commenting now because I was here in this junk. Uh, only because I decided to comment to YouTube because you can comment to YouTube now, okay, when you have a channel. But what they did, they gave me a strike because I talked about that 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 jab, <laughs> and I'm sorry I didn't hold back. I I just I was fed up. I, I was fed up, y'all. Woo wee! Cause there's a whole lot of stuff going on with that, and so they didn't appreciate it, and so they struck me. And I, I'm not gonna. I promise you, I'm not gonna uh, appeal it or anything. Why? Because it was, you know, what it was. But the other one, the warning. All the way back from January and they leave it up on the account because they said if a person doesn't appeal they just leave it up there no we don't play that the warning is the same as the strike it's supposed to come off in 90 days that's what this is saying right here that this is gonna be here for 90 days that's what that's for see 90 days expiration the 22nd of January I don't care I don't need YouTube I'm not doing this for money so I don't need YouTube in order to survive it's not going to make my day. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube goes away. I will do my own YouTube channel on my channel. Hold on. I just, we're not there yet because I'm waiting for certain technologies. But hold on now. But we got to show y'all. So we're going to do e -E -O -N dot tv Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to e -E -N 
Eon.tv. Now, those, don't be signing up, y'all. Don't be signing up. Ain't nobody going to be paying attention to y'all signing up. We ain't there yet. See, I said sign in. Y'all ain't got to do all that. Don't do that. Don't. No, no, we ain't ready for that yet. But this is the Eon channel, y'all. Some of these videos you can watch. Knock yourself out. But we're going to be changing this. Doing it right. Okay? See? Watch. I'm clicking on it. And every time y'all click on a video, y'all get to watch a video. But these ain't my videos, y'all. These are just random videos that somebody else put up. Because it's temporary. We got the site. I'm paying for the site every single year. But I'm waiting for the technology. No, we're going to pause this because I didn't want to see this video. Look, Elon Musk. Can, uh, give me one second. Let's see if we can find it on YouTube. Oh, you know what? This is not YouTube though, and that's the I, I was gonna act, I was gonna treat it like it was YouTube, but that ain't YouTube. So give me one second. Wake up. Wake up. Elon Musk creates a full featured film, completely AI generated. Stop listening. Okay. Open AI. Shows off Dell E image. Nobody cares about no Dell E image. I didn't say nothing about no Dell E image. But notice this Elon Musk creates a full featured film completely from AI. No, 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 no. That ain't it. That ain't it either. Lord have mercy. I have the film. I'm going to show it to you guys, okay? Why should you pay Elon Musk in a. Uh, give me one second, though. I'm going to show it to y'all. Y'all just, wait, hold on, give me one second, I think I saw it, AI written, there it is, open AI system creates first ever AI written theater script, but I want y'all to see the actual film, okay, did Elon Musk react to the series of AI generated pictures, so I want y'all to pay attention, I don't care about if he reacted or anything, I don't care about Elon Musk, okay, he, Elon Musk, is who he is. I have no opinion about Elon Musk, right, left, or up, or down. That man has done me no wrong, has done nothing to harm me. I have a lot of stuff to say about his so-called Starlink piece of junk, but that's not him. That's just a company that he happens to be on the board. That's it. So y'all hold on while I, I pull that up, okay? So that y'all can see it. Then we're going to talk. I found it, mama! No, mama, I found it! I found it, y'all. Here it is right here. Y'all pays attention, okay? Computer generated. The music will be created, generated, by the guys right there. All of the special effects AI generated. No actors. No voice holders. No pay attention because that means it will be able to simultaneously create the very same film for all the different languages. 2024. This is the technology I've been waiting for. And it says only on X. Okay? Twitter! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I've been waiting for. Now, y'all hold on a second. We ain't gonna talk about it. Hold on. So, I, some of you guys may not get this, may not understand it. The Eon.TV was created in 2016. Okay, the idea for Eon.TV, 2013. Okay, just so make sure y'all understand. Ten years. I've been waiting for that technology. Ten years. And once he does it, 
because you guys, if you don't know, um, we're going to show this to you because y'all need to see it. This one right here. We're going to go, we're going to go to YouTube. Where's my YouTube? Do I have a YouTube open? I don't have a YouTube open. I closed it. So we're going to go to, Un R E A L E N G Unreal Engine 5. I already have the download. I don't need to download it again. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, Unreal Engine. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not seen Unreal Engine and you got a nephew or a cousin or an uncle or somebody who's out of work and they you you think in your mind they're good for nothing, well do me a favor. Just have them go to Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine? Unreal Engine. Just have them go to Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine! Unreal Engine. Can you? Can I show you guys what Unreal Engine can do? Okay. I. If you saw the Matrix game, well, this is where how they generate games. I don't want to do that. That's too long. I want to be able to show you all some of the... Let's do this one. We'll show you all this one. I don't know this one. I've not seen this one before, but I'm seeing it now, dude. Okay. The same as you guys. We're seeing it together for the first time. Unreal Engine 5. It's free! Video games aren't always just about graphics, but uh, today they are. We're talking about Unreal Engine 5. This is a tool set that game developers use to create games. And with the newest technology in Unreal Engine 5, it can make some games look very pretty. So today we're talking about 10 upcoming Unreal Engine 5 based games that are shaping up to be looking pretty incredible. Starting off with number 10, let's talk about Immortals of Avium. This one, despite the awkward name, is a pretty cool concept. Essentially, it's like a first-person shooter Call of Duty campaign, but instead of elite tactical soldiers, you're elite tactical wizards. This is actually being made by a new studio and published under EA's Originals banner, which usually has some pretty good results. And it's from a team of game industry veterans. Now, let me make sure y'all understand. They have their Originals banner, as he says, because what happens is they work out agreements. See, you don't have absolute rights there's a contract that you do agree to when you sign up to the program but what's it going to hurt okay what's it going to hurt signing that contract okay let's do this many again. behind some call of duty games <coughs> but this is a single player first person shooter story adventure where the main combat is you shooting people with magic from your hands and from what we've seen of it so far it's just a good old-fashioned video game it's got a bunch of lore crazy over-the-top characters big set piece moments over the top levels it feels like a good throwback to some of those shooter campaigns from like the xbox 360 ps3 right, era but the right. thing that Nobody really changes it no more. are the visuals magical okay. effects blasting and we go here to the second one Next over I at number 9, we're going smaller scale with something called Anime Tokyo. This is a project by a single developer that is essentially recreating a stylized version of Tokyo. It's been billed as dreamlike, and from what we've seen, even though it is clearly very much a work in progress, the level of detail in this city is pretty shocking. Now, I want to tell you guys this. To be honest with you, that's the first thing I notice is the level of detail. From the windows to the crevices to the creases to everything. It's the level of detail is uncanny. Hold on now. What they're going for here clearly is not ultra realistic, you know, hyper realistic with like crazy textures and stuff, but more of a detailed, stylized world reminiscent of something you would actually see. And in you an see anime. the reflection the of the light built that I like that. No, I'm sorry, y'all, you know, but I gotta show that to like you. Crazy textures and stuff. Look at the light reflecting yellow stylized and now world green. Reminiscent of something That's you all would right. actually see okay. in an anime. The world they built here seems to be living up to the game's namesake. There's video out there about the developers really going in depth with a lot of things like yes, restaurant until art, they uh, do billboard the art, stuff like that. Because and if you it look really at the, shows. it's got that good blend of. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the Matrix one for the video game, you can actually go into all the buildings. So they literally created a whole new, a whole new world. Okay. So I was just listening to James Ingram. And, 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 and Regina Bell, man, that whole new world thing. Whew, but he's done a whole new world with so many different people. 
But Regina Bell is realism the best and anime one style view. that just makes this perfect, almost dreamlike thing. Machine. I think for some anime fans, this is like really what they've been looking for. And even if it's not like a full game experience where you're like running around and shooting and battling, to just have a cool city built beautifully with good vibes is really appealing. Now, next over at number eight, we have Unrecord. This is the game that really took the internet Unrecord? by storm when the developer How could you have off. an Unrecord? This is a small team, but they're essentially making a really intense body cam, almost found footage style first person shooter that looks so real that it's kind of hard to believe it's real to the point where it blew up online and the developer actually had to post proof that this is a real actual running game i think this is for a couple of reasons number one the camera style and the filter over it can definitely make things feel more realistic because that first person view is looking at hyper realistic unreal engine 5 environments with all the tech going okay ladies and gentlemen it should never have happened okay you could tell that it's not real, but some people can't. Don't uh, uh, don't get mad at them. Some people couldn't tell it's not real, so they had to show proof that they created everything that they weren't actually using live video or stock video of actual footage of police encounters and killing people. Sorry about that. On. We're only gonna the do texturing, one more. the realistic lighting, all of that stuff. That stuff well, looks incredibly real, but then when Let's you slap a kind of video body cam filter over it, That's it's exactly gonna look even what more it does. real because it's like obscured exactly. a little bit. It's playing and a trick on your eyes to just make it look more believable. Really, that really, being really said, real. the way the game actually moves and plays, we don't know for sure how that's gonna work. Uh, from what we see here, it looks very almost nausea inducing. But essentially what this is going to be is a tactical first person shooter where Now I won't play it. But hey, moving on over to number three, games. we got a real genuine game that's coming out soon genuine. to talk about. Like, it's tangible, we can see it. It's Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. Now, this development studio has been through a lot to get this game out there. And although it has been delayed many, many times, it is shaping up to be pretty damn awesome. Now, the Stalker games are significant because they really were incredibly unique on PC when they initially released and kind of created like their own subgenre in a way. So for the series to return, but also return and look absolutely downright stunning, it's a big deal. We've been looking forward to this for a while. And as you can see on screen here, we're going to skip to the next one. Now down to number two, we have Black number Myth two. Wukong. We've been talking Wukong. about this one for a long time, and essentially this is a Souls-like inspired action RPG developed and published by an Asian studio based specifically around the 16th century Chinese novel Journey to the West. This is like classic mythology stuff. Uh, if you went to college and studied literature, you probably understand more significance of this main kind of monkey-like character. And while we saw a pre-alpha gameplay many years ago with a lot of people going, wait, is this going to be a real game uh, more and more we've seen like more of it where it's an actual real thing running in unreal engine 5 the developers have put out gameplay trailers and we get a lot here i mean a lot of what we've seen and talked about in other games on this list uh, but also here specifically detailed character animations and some over the top gorgeous like now no, finally no, down no, at number second. one we have senua saga hellblade 2 uh, this one is definitely stunning. If you can see on screen here, uh, it's kind of beyond comprehension what they have going on here. Now, we were big fans here of the original Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. Uh, if you haven't played it, you should definitely check it out. It is not a perfect game, but it tells a really cool story with a really cool presentation, and it looked damn good. But this time around, man, from what we've seen, the newest Xbox showcase highlighted a weird trippy sequence with Senua in a cave where things are going on, but the previous gameplay segment they showed with send you a fighting against a massive giant weird guy that's the only sorry ladies and gentlemen i used to play video games uh fantasy star was probably one of my favorites with sega sega genesis sega anyway and none of this looks anywhere near that and fantasy star was probably one of the more advanced better games at the time when i played it because it first came out and i played all of the fantasy stars anyway none of this is anywhere near close to that I haven't played any of the current video games, but the realism and the special effects and everything that's computer generated, that's what I'm waiting for. Because now you'll be able to create storylines. You'll be able to create 
and produce and all of that without having to spend billions of dollars on actors and actresses and voices and scripts and advertisement and marketing and all of that stupid stuff, i.e. the Eon channel. Try to come up with all kind of different names, but Eon.TV. Ta-da! So this is what I've been waiting on, and Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4, the last couple of years, they have really, 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 really made some leaps and bounds. Now, hold on. You got those people whom you know that, you know, they, they ain't working and they, they want a job and they, they just don't have time to be working a 95. Then, ladies and gentlemen, let me get rid of this. Go to Unreal Engine. UnrealEngine.com. When you go to UnrealEngine.com, see, Unreal Engine. U-N-R-E-A-L, engine.com, and you go to download, and you can download Epic Games, Epic Games Launcher. See, open launcher. I said open launcher. Sorry, it ain't opening my launcher. Ah, Epic Games, there's my Epic Games. Ah, my Epic Games, see right here? That's my Epic Games. I'm going to pin it to my my bar because I'm going to be playing with Epic Games in the near future because I got to get got to get to know it got to get to know my Epic Games ladies and gentlemen there is a lot of freeware that comes with Epic Games not not the the most outrageous best stuff in the world some of that you got to pay for but a lot of the free stuff will get you going Epic Games you also need to have a computer that has some speed to it but if you can't afford a computer that has some speed to it do not worry do not worry. I don't know if they have it on Mac. I do know they have it on PC. But do not worry if you don't have the speed now. Because if you can put together a couple little showcases. You know what? Now that I come to think about it, I might start to integrate this with my videos from now on. I think that'll be all right. Okay? Well, anyway. <sighs> just wanted to take the time to say thank you to those of you who have been leaving some comments. Who have been talking about the information that's shared on video. Look, all I'm doing is talking. I can't, I can't make you all understand everything, nor can I make the persons you're having to deal with understand what your rights are. I, I can't do that. I don't have that type of power. I've got the power. I don't have that type of power. Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that uh, whole thing because her voice is way too high. But it is getting kind of heavy, huh? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who appreciate the information, just understand that literally you're the reason why I do it. Just that simple. There's no other reason. You're the reason why I do it because I know that it's helping some of you. And there, there was this one young man that I just spoke to and I was trying to explain to him because he was telling me about some other people who are doing videos and talking about this and that. And I'm like, look, I'm not the originator of everything. But I do know that they got that from me. Say so what? What do you mean they got that from you? They got that from me. I can tell by the way they're saying it that they got that from me. Ladies and gentlemen, I use certain words certain ways all the time. Every single time. I do that so as to mark my territory. You'll be marking your territory? You better believe I mark my territory. Yeah, I, I, My mama marked her territory too. Really? You let her do that? Yeah, I had no choice. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, when you guys get the opportunity, play with this particular software. Get to know it. Look, you don't need a lot. 64-bit, 22.5 gigahertz or faster. You can even go, you could probably get away with less than 2.5 gigahertz because I did. Then, oh, Mac operating system. Hey, they do, it does work with Mac. Ta-da! And let's see, eight gigabytes of RAM. Most people have at least eight, but the majority of people have four gigabytes of RAM. You'll be okay. Linux and all of that, quad core and all of that, you don't have to worry about it. And the regular hard drive space, you need at least 32 gigabytes of free space on your computer. Okay? Just that simple. Now, this is talking about your RAM speed. I have 32 gigabytes. I didn't want to get 64. Didn't feel like it. I stopped at 32. So, and then I put 
in this computer I put a four terabyte hard drive. Okay, now hold on, ladies. See what's the cost? Unreal Engine is free to use for creating linear content like films and custom and internal projects. It is also free to many cases for game development. A 5% royalty only kicks in after your title earns a million U.S. dollars. That's not bad, ladies and gentlemen. 5%. 5% of a million dollars. That's not bad for something that's free. Okay, if you don't understand what 5% is, that's $50,000. Okay, 10% is 100, so 5% is $50,000. That's not bad. That means the company is not trying to take advantage of y'all. But they're the only ones out there doing it, and they're doing it for free. They're offering it to you for free, which means they are inviting creativity. So, you got a family, a friend, or anything like that that you think would be interested in learning this stuff? Because there are all kinds of videos training you on how to use it. Tons of videos training you on how to use it. We won't be opening up no training class anytime soon. Sorry, we have our training going on on Monday for the training. And again, what I am definitely suggesting, if you haven't checked out the trading video, I would go and watch that latest trading video. Uh, this one, you don't have to put your money in nobody else's pocket, nobody else's platform. It's your account, your bank account. Get Take the money in and out whenever you feel like it. And you're given a formula. You follow the formula, you can't lose. The only way you can lose is when you don't follow the formula, when you don't follow the program. Okay? That's why we teach you. We will teach you how to do it, like Usher said, nice and slow. Okay? Not like um, my girl, Tina Turner and Ike. You know, we don't ever do anything slow. Uh -uh. We ain't talking about that. Because that's why they, they had to leave that job in the city, working for that man every night and day. That's why they never thought. And they never got a minute of sleep. Because they were worried about the way the things might have been. Because them big wheels, they keep on turning. Proud Mary keeps on burning. And we're rolling. Rolling. All right, we got to go. Y'all, take care of yourselves. I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of something, something. All right. So thank you all for the comments. And I really do believe that some of you might be able to benefit from Real Engine. Many of you are trying to figure out what to do and many of you.